All right. Good afternoon. Brad Brown with Texo. Thanks for uh, everyone joining us today for the webinar on our uh, Texo Distinguished Building Awards. Uh, we're, we're doing this really for kind of the first time live ever, and so this will give you an opportunity uh, to ask questions and participate as we go, and we'll answer those questions. We're scheduled to answer those at the end, but if we see something pop up that you have questions about or that triggers a question, uh, we'll try to do our best to answer those a little bit as we go, but we'll definitely plan time at the end to answer those. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Just real quick, three goals that we really want to uh, have happen today is one, to provide you a better understanding of the Texo Awards process and just kind of the timeline associated with those awards, uh, help you better understand the ABC and AGC Awards process, and then what happens after uh, Texo Awards are submitted here and where those can go from there. So uh, with that said, we'll just go ahead and uh, start with just first of all talking why we think it's good business or good practice to submit for Texo Distinguished Building Awards. One, uh, it helps with just first and foremost data mining. Uh, we think that uh, gathering the data about your projects uh, and getting that useful detail uh, is good uh, for helping you not only understand what you've done, but to sell that going down the road and understanding what's happened on the project. Uh, use those uh, award submittals as a recruiting tool. Uh, obviously, it's a great way to showcase who your firm is and the reputable uh, projects that your firm has con, uh, completed. Uh, we think it's great for morale. Uh, everybody loves to be on a winning team. And so uh, use the recognition of winning a Distinguished Building Award uh, to motivate your entire workforce. Uh, we think it's great to submit because it will enhance owner relations. We have a number of folks that submit awards. They get their owners involved. Uh, it's a way to recognize them as owners, not just the projects, but the owners themselves. Uh, and then obviously, uh, as you complete the awards, submit that data um, for the owner themselves to maybe use in their own marketing or communications plan for themselves. Uh, Recognition. Uh, not only does a Distinguished Building Award give you recognition here in North and East Texas, but it also uh, allows you to basically uh, promote that project and, uh, and on both a state and a national level. Nothing uh, demonstrates your ability to com complete a quality project like uh, a building award. And so by submitting, that's, it's going to be able to distinguish and show off uh, your quality projects. And then certainly recognizing the team. Obviously, these folks put a lot of time and effort on these projects, and this is a great opportunity not just to recognize your staff, but your subcontractors, uh, the architect and engineering teams. Uh, let the success of that project uh, be a testament to your entire workforce. Uh, the other great thing about the Distinguished Building Awards is that they truly recognize projects of all sizes. This is not just on large projects. Oftentimes, uh, people are mistaken that there are several categories, uh, different dollar value sizes to uh, submit. Uh, and so there are ample opportunities for your firms to win. And then obviously one of the best reasons to submit is it improves your marketing materials. Uh, obviously owners and architects and those that uh, consider your firm are obviously interested in what similar projects you've completed. And so obviously having submitted for a Distinguished Building Award will allow you to use those images, the narratives, and any other details about the project in future uh, marketing materials or qualifications or proposal statements, and then certainly your firm's resume. And then last, we think that submitting uh, the for the Distinguished Building Awards is, is a great opportunity to uh, increase your ability to win more work. Uh, and just in full disclosure, we have a number of owners that reach out to Texo uh, on a year-over-year -year basis inquiring about our winning projects, who won, and, and certainly validating and verifying verifying that uh, your firm did win those awards as presented. And so uh, we think that winning awards will obviously breed more success in your ability to win more work. And so now let's just talk about where does your award go after you win? Uh, obviously, the, the awards process starts with, if you can just think, you have to win at home. And so first and foremost, after your, uh, you submit for a Distinguished Building Award, and if that, if that project uh, is selected as an award winner, there's two places that that will go. 
the, the first place is to the state level through the uh, state AGC organization uh, or the Texas Building Branch. And then uh, obviously uh, winners at the local level will also go to the national ABC organization. Uh, so as we're talking uh, today, so if a project completed in 2013, uh, if it wins at the local level, uh, it will be recognized by TEXO through our Distinguished Building Awards program. And then it will be recognized if it's elected, uh, it goes as a candidate at the state Texas Building Branch, that's the AGC organization, and then it will also advance up to the national ABC organization. They both have uh, awards programs which gives your project that was completed in 2013 uh, an additional opportunity to win both state and national acclaim. Let's talk about the timeline. Uh, first and foremost, we all know that the local Texo Distinguished Building Awards, those are due here uh, January 31st. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that process here in just a second. Uh, and then after that, uh, those projects that were completed in 2013, should they win, those will advance to the state uh, TBB competition. And that submission, uh, we will handle that. That will be handled by the Texo office. Uh, and those will be submitted by February 28th. And then uh, from there, we will submit to the national ABC and their traditional um, time frame is later on in the fall to be recognized uh, later on sometime more than likely in 2015. So process is obviously submit your Texo Distinguished Building Award submittal uh, by January 31st. Uh, that will advance and Texo will do that for you. We'll send that on to the Texas Building Branch by February 28th. And then you'll also, if you win at the local level, you will be uh, contacted by ABC to submit for a national award. So what awards are available? So again, we agree that it's, it's good business to try to win awards. What awards are available for your firm? First and foremost, there's project awards as we've discussed today. Those are what we call the Texo Distinguished Building Awards. And again, those are due. Uh, this is for any project completed in uh, 2013. Uh, those submittal, uh, submittals are due January 31st. Uh, there's opportunities for your, both your firm or team or partnering award. Uh, and again, Texo has one of those awards. It's called the Vision Award, and that, uh, that rewards uh, the firm that uses the most Texo contractors on their project. That's the Vision Award, but there are ample opportunities for either a firm or team or partnering award, uh, either through the ABC or AGC organizations. And then next is safety awards. So one of the awards that we'll be asking for later on in this year to be recognized uh, at our annual holiday and awards gala uh, is the safety professional year, safety professional of the year. And that submittal is not due until October 3rd. Again, we'll be doing a lot more communication about that here in the coming months. And then last, there's individual awards. First of all, the Magnolia Award, again, uh, is going to be due uh, later on in the third, fourth quarter, excuse me, of, of 2014. And that recognizes a female within the construction industry. And then last is the Superintendent of the Year. Uh, again, same time frame. Uh, those submittals will be due uh, October the 3rd. But again, this is, uh, this is where your firm is submitting a candidate. Uh, in each one of those individual awards and then the safety professional of the year, you're recognizing someone from your firm uh, and submitting this on their behalf. I won't read all of these to you, but these are the Texo Building Award categories. So when you say, uh, what are the building categories? Obviously, the projects that you all build fall within uh, a particular category. Uh, and you see most of those are distinguished by the size or the dollar value of the project. It's very important when you submit uh, that you submit these in the correct uh, dollar value size. So if you represent that the contract, as an example, was $5 million, that would obviously go in the building three category. And then there's the design build categories or health care category, industrial and warehouse, interior finish out, some residential uh, and specialty construction categories. And then on the next page, these are really for uh, specialty contractors, those uh, in the electrical, mechanical, and then uh, as you'll see, there's three additional categories down there for all contract amounts. So it doesn't matter about the value, but for an exteriors, uh, for specialty contractors, interiors, and then other specialty, just uh, if your firm is a specialty 
contractor that has performed on a job, again, no, you know, and you want it to be recognized, uh, there's a category there for all contract amounts. So specifically, just focusing on here at the end of the month, 31st, uh, that's the deadline for the project submittal. And as you see there, uh, we're going to talk here just a second about the electronic uploading process that we're going to do this year. Uh, and then the hard copy of your award submittal actually needs to be delivered to the Texo office by February 3rd. We have a number of judges, some that like to judge these electronically, some that judge them uh, via hard copy, but electronic submittal by uh, January the 31st, and then the hard copy follow-up by February 3rd. Uh, your checks uh, for the award submittal need to be attached to the hard copy submittal on February 3rd. And then new for this year is that any project completed in 2013 in the state of Texas can be submitted for a Texo Distinguished Building Award. So uh, it's not just projects completed uh, in the Texo territory, which is North and East Texas. If you are a contractor, you're a member of Texo, uh, and you've completed a project in the state of Texo, you can submit that project as long as it was completed in 2013. If it was completed in 2013 and in the state of Texas, you can submit that project for a Texo Distinguished Building Award. And then again, it will go through the competition of moving on to the state TBB organization or the national ABC organization, just like any project in North and East Texas. Next question we often get is what happens when you win? Well, the first thing that's going to happen is for all first place winners of 27 uh, eligible awards. So again, these are uh, not in the specialty category. Those will go to the Texas Building Branch AGC to be judged by February 28th. And again, you see there we've highlighted that's no hassle to you. Texo goes ahead and advances that award on your behalf. We'll also work with you if there's some things that may need to be cleaned up in the award submittal or whatever. Obviously, we want to assist as much as we can in helping you win that state award. So we'll give you a chance to clean that up. Most of the time, that's not necessary. Uh, but we will submit that award on your firm's behalf, assuming that it wins uh, at the local level. That's the first step. And then... The next thing is what happens after you win um, at the local level. In addition to being submitted to TBB, we'll notify the ABC National Excellence in Construction. Uh, you'll see that is EIC oftentimes. So first and second place winners of all categories get advanced to the ABC National Excellence in Construction uh, Awards. Uh, ABC National actually contacts your firm. Uh, so Texo is uh, somewhat removed from that process at that point in time, uh, but they will reach out to your firm if you finish first or second at the local level, and they will uh, provide you all the directions necessary to submit for that national EIC award. So the last part is we've started here in the last few months, the, the uh, website www.texoawards.com. Uh, you can go there, and this is where you actually submit your electronic application. It should be pretty uh, simple to figure this out, but obviously we're going to walk you through just the simple steps. First and foremost, you would click on that submit application, uh, and then there in the middle of the page, once you hit there, you actually submit the award application. This is very submit similar to what you do when you have to submit an electronic proposal or qualification statement. And then from there, you choose the file as you've saved it on your computer. Uh, and then from there, make sure you save your awards. We've lined out here exactly uh, how your uh, award submittal should be named. Uh, so again, you're going to represent the year that we're submitting, uh, the category, uh, the building category uh, that you're actually submitting the award for, your company name, uh, and then which part of the submission it is. And so uh, pretty self-explanatory, but that's uh, a good rule of thumb of how to name or title uh, your company submittals. Uh, there's obviously multiple things you have to submit with this, uh, and then that just right there kind of lines it out exactly how you have to title that file. And then once you're ready uh, to upload that file, you click the upload button, and then this is key. If you have successfully uploaded that file, you will get this message. If you don't get this message, you didn't upload it correctly. And so you want to make sure after every file that you upload, you get this uh, successful message indicating that it has been uploaded properly. Uh, obviously, this will be the message you get if you don't upload it uh, correctly. So uh, it'll kind of talk you through um, 
be it the file type or what have you. Uh, and then obviously there's a contact us uh, button there that we can help walk you through if for some reason you get stuck or something like that, we're more than happy to help. Uh, and then again, this is another error that you might find is if you don't upload the file correctly, it's going to again let you know that. So all that said, we've just tried to clarify exactly, uh, one, we want you to submit for awards. Again, we think it's great business. Uh, it's a great way to show off your projects and the successful things that you all do and your firms do, and we want to show those off. But more importantly, we want the process to be as uh, simple as possible. So um, if there are any questions, we'll give maybe just a minute here to type those in if you can, and then we'll respond to those. And then if there aren't any, then what we'll do is we'll just conclude uh, the webinar and thank you for your attendance. So we'll stand by here for about another 30 to 45 seconds and see if there are questions and then answer those accordingly. Let me answer one that was asked earlier, uh, and that is on the safety narrative uh, in the actual Distinguished Building Award submittal, there's a question about safety. And so what do you want to put in there? Um, obviously, some of that is in the, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. So a little bit of that depends on the judges themselves. But we will t our answer traditionally has been focus on those things that you've done on the job site to help prevent incidents. Uh, to help prevent injuries uh, and workplace accidents, uh, kind of the specialized things that your firms do. Obviously, you don't have to give your firm's entire uh, safety program, but the things that were done specifically on that job site that impacted safety, those are the items that you're going to want to focus on in the safety narrative themselves. Just want to thank everybody's time. We hope you find this process beneficial. Uh, we would appreciate feedback. Uh, if this has hopefully been helpful, we're actually recording this uh, and we'll have this session uh, to be able to be viewed at other later times for those that weren't able to join today. But uh, until that time, thank you all. One, thanks for your Texo membership and then thanks for your participation in the awards process. And don't ever forget that we're here to help any way we can. We want this process to be simple and easy, and more importantly, we want to promote the great things that your firms do. So uh, thanks for your time today, and have a, a great rest of your week.